welcome to my channel. It's been a while and I'm super excited to be back. We're in summer break. The kids are in camp right now, so I'm taking advantage, trying to get some stuff done. And today I am here to show you the Bottega Veneta clutch. Um, first of all, I was just gonna let you know, um, if you don't know, I have a blog, it's called Style of Sam, and the blog post on this um, pouch is gonna be out at the same time, so the link will be down below. Also, I'm on Instagram, so you can follow me there if you like. Um, but anyways, this is, I love bags, I mean, I love handbags, and so my I've been doing a lot of what's in my bag um, channels, so um, here we go. So first of all, um, I got this gorgeous bag, the Bottega Veneta Clutch, um, because I was doing a campaign with Nima Marcus, whom I love, and I love this bag. So I did get a stipend towards it, but it didn't go, I mean, obviously it didn't pay for all of it, um, but I was still very happy to purchase this bag. Um, it was kind of a hard decision because this is not something I would consider practical, especially with kids. It's a clutch, there's no handles. I mean, you can carry it under the arm. It's actually very light colored, so like there's all these, um, knows, but I mean, I literally fell in love with this bag as soon as it came out and I was like dying. Um, so when I had the opportunity to get it, I did. Um, and so let's get right to it, shall we? So, um, let me show you the bag. So this is a color plaster. So I would say it's not like a optic white and it's not quite a tan, but it's almost like a a grayish color um, and right now there's nothing in it so it's just really empty there's no interior pockets um, there's a Bottega stamp and then there is a d-ring here you can see and I mean I guess that could be something like if you wanted to attach like a, a poche or card case like the LVs where you can attach those things you can probably attach to there or even your keys if you want I have not actually used it um, but this uh, actually is basically how it looks very very simple um, and I'm going to go I'll be right back because I'm going to go grab some stuff to put it in there so you know what it looks like when there are things in it. Um, and this is considered the large or normal size pouch. There's also a mini and there's a clutch and now they have a bum bag. So there are lots of different options, lots of different colors. Um, I love neutrals. Um, I actually love colors also, but I decided to get this in a neutral color. This is perfect for um, summer, but it's gonna be awesome in winter too because I wear a lot of winter white. So this is very, very, um, good for all seasons. Okay, I'll be right back, bye. Okay, I'm back. So um, this is with things in it and um, literally this can fit so much in it, which is why I just love it so much. So I actually, um, I've been carrying around my micro bag lately, but I have this um, purse organizer that I use for my Chanel 19 in it and then sunglasses and obviously my keys would fit in here and, um, and uh, my camera, which I'm using right now. But I mean, this is, let me show you, let me, I'll take out the individual components so you can just kind of see what fits in. So sunglasses case, this is just large sunglasses, um, a little makeup bag, hand sanitizer. I've been using like a small like uh, card holder just because like I said, I'm using my micro um, bag right now. Another card holder, like lots of lipsticks and a pen, um, another lipstick and lotion. So. This um, is with everything in it. I mean, you could just, I keep it, I like it in the organizer because I feel like it's easier to get. And I mean, it's very easy to hold on to. You can hold it on top. You can hold it underneath your arm, like it's a little baby or a football, um, but this is really great. One thing that I do notice is it does sag, but I still love the shape even though it's saggy. And again, like you saw it when it, there was structure in it with the, um, the bag organizer and I felt like it was fine. It, it is make, it does make me nervous sometimes to throw like all those lipsticks and stuff in there and lotion without having it protected. So I, um, I like that I can just throw it in here or I would probably, if I really am gonna wear it like this, have these and the lotion and the pen in like a separate, like uh, another makeup bag, just because I'd be afraid of um, messing it up. So, um, Someone asked, I asked for questions on Instagram and um, someone asked me, how do you protect your light leather? So I know that there are different methods for protecting, protecting your light 
light leather, blah, sorry. Um, but I actually don't have anything in particular. Like this is kind of a coated calf leather and my Chanel, Chanel 19 is um, like a glazed goatskin leather. And basically I am just very careful with what I wear it with. Like I don't wear it with dark denim. Basically that's mostly it because I feel like the denim, the dye on the denim will rub off and do transfer on these types of bags. So I kind of like, I have um, an older Chanel, a Chanel flap that's white, but it was um, almost like a distressed, some kind of distressed leather and it it does have a lot of transfer on the backside for me carrying it under my arm um and like against darker uh blue jeans but i um i brought this on our beach vacation and i haven't had any problems with it i i did notice like a little spot and i just wiped it with um a baby wipe so maybe <laughs> that may might may not be the best um way but i am I love bags, but I'm also like a no fuss girl. So I feel like if you have a bag, wear it, have fun, enjoy it. That's like, that's why the bags, that's why you have your bag, right? And of course I want to take care of them and love them, but I don't, it's hard for me to get so, um, so precious about it. But, but of course I don't like, I don't throw this on the floor or anything. I do try, I do treat the bags with respect, but I don't have any special coating on it just because I'm nervous about, um, spraying it with something and having it absorb and then turn changing colors and i'm sure i could try something and like test um do a test um test spot spot testing blah, spot testing on um the door someone was at the doorbell um so my ring went off my phone sorry about that anyhow um so next thing next question i got is um what does is this the one that comes with the handle and no it's not um like i mentioned before there they are different sizes there's a clutch there is a smaller clutch it's about i would say because i've held it in the store it's about half this size it, my <laughs> mr s calls it the taco bag because it looks like a mini taco i'll show you the picture um there is that same size clutch which has like a leather um strap so you can wear it cross body there's also a bum bag which i can um show you a picture of that i used before it's really cute it looks like a little monster you can wear it across your waist or um you know across your body um but this is not the one with the handle however i do have a surprise and i wanted to show you how you could kind of make it into a, a purse or i guess the bag with the handle um although i haven't actually carried it this way i just want to show you that's an option um because if you're going to invest in something um then I'm sure you want to wear it as many ways as you can. Um, but anyways, so this is a really short um, video today because it's what's in my bag, I'm trying to answer some questions. Um, I'm gonna show you the trick. I also always get requests to share dupes. Um, and so I am going to share um, some like actual dupe dupes and then just some, some um, inspired by um, inspired by bags that are a different brand, not Bottega, but still just as nice. Also, I wanted to show you, it comes just like in a Bottega Veneta bag. I didn't, it, I when I purchased it from Mima Marcus, um, it was like the, not the demo model, but it was on the shelf and there wasn't another one, but I love this bag color so much that I got that one. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the Mansur Gabrielle um, Cloud Cutch cloud clutch and i also got this from neiman marcus this is pink um y'all know i love pink or if you don't know i love pink um and so i just wanted to show you inside so this has a it's a really fun like striking interior this does have a little pocket inside um and this bag is a more um i guess it's still expensive it's 4.95 when i purchased it but it is obviously less expensive than the bottega bag so just to show you size comparison the bottega i would say the mansur gabrielle bag is a little bit smaller um as far as lengthwise goes but as far as what you can put in it tons of stuff the silhouette is a little different you see there's just instead of being straight across in like a dumpling bag this is curved and almost looks like a sweetheart neckline um and then like i said there it's there's an interior pocket in here no d-ring and then as far as some other there are some designer dupes i know they sell them on amazon um and they they look exactly like the pouch so i don't own any one of those but that's also an option i believe they are um vegan 
leather so they're pleather and so they're you know they're not leather which is fine also um because some people you know don't want to use leather products so that's those are other options but i just wanted to show you like the bottega bag another option the mansur gabrielle cloud clutch and then also okay now da, 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 it's time for this fun trick so i saw you could actually add um, a handle to this bag and so we're gonna see this is the first time doing it um but you what you need are some hair ties probably it would be ideal if your hair ties matched your bag but i'm just doing this on the fly to just to show y'all and then a bag handle now also you can get these bag handles on amazon too i've bought uh, purchased a pearl one this is one that looks like a bottega chain um it's pretty heavy so let me show you so what you do is um oh i didn't also explain earlier that this um closes magnetically so and um i don't have any trouble keeping it closed so what you do is over here you know what i'm gonna show you let me do it and then i'll show you 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 put it's hard to show you because there's stuff in my bag you loop this underneath the ring you see what i'm doing i looped it underneath and i'm just going to pull it through and um, then use this and clip it on okay so see it's not very pretty right now i'm going to do it to the other side now so again I'll, you loop this underneath the rings And then we are going to get this on the other side. Okay. So what does this look like? You gotta push it to the outside where it knots underneath. You can close it. However, if you see, you can definitely see the hair ties. But I mean, at the same time, it's kind of cool that I have an option for this for a bag. So, um, you know, that that's just something if you wanted to try this i also wanted to show you just um some different outfits that you can wear this with obviously um it's warmer right now so i've worn it like this very much goes with uh, my outfit today i'm wearing a neutral color neutral bag um in the instagram uh post that I did the other day, I was wearing like a terracotta color and I've actually worn this on date night with Mr. S with a green dress. So I feel like this would go with everything. Um, you know, obviously neutrals like beige, white, black, but then also with color, it would look fabulous. Um, um, I'm just popping right back on here um, because I wasn't done editing the video and I got the, um, purse organizer that I ordered on Amazon in. So I wanted to show you how it works. So this, is with it in, I will show you what it looks like inside. So it's, it fits smaller, but you can see there's lots of pockets and it actually comes with this um, little zipper pocket that you can Velcro in on the sides. Um, but when I did that, then I really wasn't able to get this closed um, just because it was too stiff. And so honestly, this closes really well in it. If you get any of these corners kind of stuck out, then it may not close as well. But this, as you can see, like with things in it, it kind of keeps a shape. Um, you can kind of make it flatter on the bottom, but I'll show you what it looks like. It keeps a shape really well. Um, and that's just like if you are interested in having a purse organizer i always like having one because i feel like it protects the interior of the bag and again like i said um it it helps keep the shape um so this is what it looks like without you can see it kind of because of the way it was folded in it's not as flat but i think if you just keep it flat you maybe add cardboard i probably will not um because i like it kind of flexible it keeps everything in there and again there's lots of different pockets I'll show you what I have in there. Um, and you saw there was lots of room and uh, I just popped it right back in. You just have to make sure it is below the frame of the bag so that it can close. And there you go. So what fits with the organizer is again, all the same stuff. My makeup bag, I'm using a card case right now. Um, this is for my business cards. Um, I have a few lip glosses, lipsticks some hand sanitizer. 
there's definitely room for like sunglasses, phone, um, keys, so whatever you want. So sorry, just had to pop in since I didn't finish editing the video and wanted to show you this um, organizer from Amazon in case you are really concerned about keeping the structure, like so it's not so saggy. On my blog, I talk about a specific organizer that is made for this Bottega clutch, um, but, and it was a reasonable price. I think it was maybe like 30 or $40, but then the shipping was 30 or $40. And I, and so like, I'm so crazy about shipping a month. I'm not paying that much. So I tried um, an organizer from Amazon. I ordered the wrong size. It was too big. It couldn't close. And then I reordered the medium and that seemed to fit because it's wide enough, but then also um, I can still close it. So I'll link that below. Okay. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the little trick. I don't know if that was amazing, like a a fail or <laughs> like, but it's just an option, I guess. Um, you might be wouldn't want like, maybe, I don't know, rope, something else. But I saw this trick. I'm gonna link um, who I saw this trick from down below. It's another YouTuber. I was just like searching some stuff. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. If you like what you watch, please subscribe. And again, thank you so much. I Next, I am working on my, um, micro bags uh what's in my bag my micro bags for um youtube so sorry today i feel like i'm a little bit hyper so maybe it's like all over the place let me know if you have any questions um and i will see you next time bye oh yeah and don't forget um you can check all this information out on the bottega bag at styleofsam.com and find me on instagram at styleofsam bye